Welcome to our tutorial on Gmesh, a powerful open source finite element mesh generator. In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of creating geometry, meshing, and pre-processing using Gmesh, followed by a mesh check in PrePromax software for mesh connectivity. First, we'll cover how to add points, create arcs, and lines that will convert into surfaces to define our geometry. Next, We'll move on to generating a 2D mesh and then explore more advanced features like extrusion and mesh rotation. Once our mesh is ready, we'll export it and perform a mesh check in PrePromax software. This step is crucial for ensuring mesh connectivity and overall simulation accuracy. Let's dive in. First, save empty project. You can see here three modules, Geometry, Mesh, and Solver. In the Geometry module, there are several options available for creating geometry. We will begin by defining points. We will define the center of a ring at coordinates 0, 0, 0, and two additional points at 20, 0, 0, and 0, 20, 0. Next, create arc. Define start point. Define center point. Define arcs end point. Arc is created. Let's define outer ring arc by adding two more points. We will take thickness 20 units. Press Q key to abort. Define second arc. Select start point. Select center point. Select end point. Press Q key to abort. Next, we will create a line joining the start point of the inner arc with the start point of the outer arc. Do the same for endpoints of both arcs. We have created a closed loop consisting of two arcs and two lines. We will adjust the display settings to show labels for points, curves, and surfaces. Next, create a plane surface. Select Closed Loop. Press E key to accept surface generation and then press Q key to end. You can see plane surface. The next step involves generating an automatic mesh. Click here to generate 2D mesh. You can observe that the mesh has been successfully generated. 
These elements are triangular in shape. Reload script. Next, we will specify the number of divisions for both the lines and arcs. Click on Curve. Select Lines. Enter number of points. We will keep 20 initially. Press E and then Q. Define number of points for the both arcs. We will define number of points 40. Press E and then Q. We will convert the triangular elements to quadrilateral elements using the following steps. Turn on this option. Regenerate 2D Mesh. You can observe the quadrilateral elements. Let's perform the mapping of this surface using this option. Select Surface. Press E to end selection and Q to abort. Regenerate Mesh. You can see mapped quadrilateral elements. Let's proceed by extruding this 2D mesh to convert it into a 3D mesh. Select Translate option. Select Surface Selection Entity. Select Surface. Enter Extrude Length. Turn on this option. Define Mesh Layers. Enter E key and then Q key. Générate 3D Mesh. You can now observe the high quality hexahedral mesh. Let's use the Rotate Extrusion Mesh command to extrude this face. Define Rotation Angle. Turn on this option. Define Layers. Rotation About Z-Axis. Enter E and then Q. You can modify any aspect by accessing the script. Let's change rotation angle from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. Save script and exit. Reload script. Regenerate mesh. Let's extrude this face by 90 degrees. Clockwise Rotation Define Layers Reload Script You can now observe the complete full ring with a high-quality hexahedral mesh. You can observe two planes at the same location. Let's merge them using this option. You can see now single plane.
Let's change mesh display settings. Let's change mesh elements into same color. Next, let's combine all three volumes. Press E to end selection and key Q to abort. In the final step, we will export the mesh into the dotting format. In the last step, we will demonstrate the mesh nodal connectivity in PrePromax software. Don't forget to hit the like button and thank you for your time. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below.